Meanwhile, the Oakland Zoo is closing its doors tomorrow because of this incoming storm. It's not the first time the zoo has had to shut down. In fact, it hasn't had a full month of being open this winter because of the wet weather and storm-related damage. Crowd Force Sarah Stinson spoke with the CEO of the zoo to see just how much all this bad weather has been hurting the bottom line. Sarah? Yeah, tomorrow will be the second time this month the Oakland Zoo has closed its doors due to the weather. And this comes on the heels of the zoo repairing damage, lots of damage from the last wave of storms, which actually forced the zoo to close for several weeks. The Oakland Zoo is closing its doors Tuesday as a precaution due to another atmospheric river hitting the Bay Area. The latest closure adding to the financial hardships the zoo is already facing. I've seen this kind of storm in California in literally decades. And while we need the rain and the drought uh, is seemingly nearing the end, uh, it certainly has a huge financial impact on the zoo. The Oakland Zoo uh, CEO, know, Nick DeHagia, tells you know, me closing the operation down cost $30,000 a day from loss of admission tickets. The zoo was closed all of January after storms at the start of the year caused major damage, including a massive sinkhole. That actually cost us over $2 million for the entire month because we were open daytime and nighttime for our events. And the zoo is still trying to make up for the financial toll caused by COVID restrictions during the pandemic. But it's been a difficult three years. And, you know, with this economy where it is and the failures of the banks that are taking place, um, we just need a little bit more certainty in this time. One thing is for certain for Dejia, rain or shine, the animals are being taken care of. By an incredible staff, uh, animal keepers and our vet staff who are taking care of them. Um, so the animals are doing great uh, and thriving, uh, quite honestly. So, uh, but we would love to see the zoo open for the people to come back. If you're planning a trip, you can expect to see some new attractions. The last few weeks, we had some meerkat uh, babies that were born, we have a new flamingo aviary. Our flamingos are where they are. Come out and, you know, see all the animals at the zoo who I honestly love seeing people as well. And the Oakland Zoo CEO says before a visit, always check the zoo's website to make sure they're open. And if you have reservations for tomorrow, you'll be refunded automatically. Refunds take about three to four days to process. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting. Back to you guys.